All right, welcome back to State's Cotton Commission. It says 20% of this year's crop rotting. Farmers are seeing bull rot shrivel up, a commodity that brings in $3 billion a year for Georgia. Now, to demonstrate, Lori has mm -hmm. what would be a healthy right. bull right there. Mm -hmm. And this is what happens uh, when it rots. And you can see the huge difference in the two right there. Yeah, that really is a big difference. And that may eventually hit you in the pocketbook when you go to buy clothes. Suzanne Lawler went to Pulaski County to find out how bull rot happens. I've been helping my dad own this land since we since I was probably 10 years old. Blake Bledsoe is a fourth generation farmer and he says fall is usually a happy time anticipating the harvest. But this year it's anything but tranquil. I'd say we're just kind of in a lull of thinking, oh my gosh, what if this don't pan out? What if you know, what if we can't get what we need or we have a breakdown during harvest? This is the problem. It's called bull rot. It's ruined a fifth of the state's crop and it's a hazard to do more damage. The bull rot is, is caused from excessive moisture at the wrong time when the cotton is mature and attempting to open the very first time. It's water going in the bowl and not drying out for an extended period of time. Think of a bale of cotton as a cake batter and you want it to be white and fluffy. But then this bull rot gets in, turns it yellow and affects its market grade, which affects profit. This will go in probably as a as a color, a color deduction along with a fiber quality deduction, um, which will take cotton where it's at today, which is around a little over a dollar. It'll take that cotton and probably cut the value of it by 40%. Um, so you're looking at this being worth 60 cent and this being worth a dollar. Pennies, right? But it is big money when you've got 6,000 acres of this stuff. Bledsoe could lose close to a quarter of a million dollars. If you've got a lot of this, this bowl rot, you probably are barely at break even. Remember, since the beginning of this year's planting season, farmers have dealt with price increases across the board. And the fertilizer costs this time were double what we have normally had and our fuel cost or double what we have normally had. More cotton is set to open up throughout September. If the rain continues, Bledsoe says you may pay more down the road for clothes. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. That's a tough road for mm -hmm. farmers, I'll tell you right now. The farmers are always worried about tractors breaking down as well. That's amplified this year because Bledsoe says supply chain issues are still in play. It could take months to get a new or used tractor.